I'm at Casa Lupita in Bayonne, New Jersey. It's 1007 Broadway, and we are about to bring you in to authentic Mexican restaurant. It's gonna be amazing. I wanna make mention, if you hear a little construction or noise in the background, it's probably the new development going on here in Bayonne, which leads me to our sponsor. A very, very, very special thank you to Bay One Luxury Apartments, 957 Broadway, an amazing, amazing facility. You need to go check it out. The residents there are wonderful. The team running the building are wonderful. They are really about the community. So Bay One Apartments, thank you so much. We thank you, the community thanks you, and this video couldn't happen without you. Without further ado, let's go into Casa Lupita and meet the family. My name is Melissa Velasco. I am the co-founder and co-owner of Casa Lupita here at 1007 Broadway in Bayonne, New Jersey, and we're a family-owned and run restaurant. We started in 2012 in a little business on 48th Street, and that was a wonderful experience. We no longer could fit our clientele into the small little business. We definitely grew as a business, as a family, and we had the opportunity to expand a little bit more. And we are now here on 49th Street in a bigger, more established place, and we couldn't be more thankful. We've been very blessed to be able to expand to this new business and um, reach a lot more than we could have ever potentially believed we could ever reach. The business started in 2012, and we moved here in 2017. It's named after my grandma, uh, Lupita. That's why it's called Casa Lupita. We named it after her because she passed shortly before we opened the restaurant. And the entire family business is family owned and run from the dishwashers to the drivers to the first person you see through the door. We're all uh, brother, sister, uncle, mom, dad. And I think that's what's so special about our business that it's family owned and the ambiance in the business uh, reflects through everything we do from the food to the service. Um, you can definitely see how that shines through. The pandemic hit and I'm sure as many other businesses felt, it was a time where we, it was a lot of unknown. We were very worried um, what was gonna happen to the family business, but um, we are a family and we came together as a unit and we decided that this was not gonna be it. And thanks to a lot of our amazing loyal clientele, Bayonne Police Department, to the Fire Department, the EMT of Bayonne and just the entire Bayonne community, we've been able to stay afloat. We also understand that many families were going through a tough time, so we wanted to help the Bayonne community, and we created specials. One thing we did was, uh, for an extended amount of time, since the start of March, we started these uh, trays, these $40 trays uh, for families, and it was kind of our way of giving back to the community without having to burdensome them um, of what to put on the table. Something very small, but it filled a family of five to seven, um, and yeah, we've been very, very thankful that the Bayonne community continues to show up and continues to show support to my family. And without them, we genuinely would not have been stayed afloat during the pandemic. We're very thankful for them. There are many developments. One of the ones is the Bay One Luxury Development. A lot of the construction workers that work there come here and it has allowed us to create this one-on-one uh, -on -one relationship with the construction workers. And they come to us often for lunch, for a quick bite, for breakfast. Uh, on their way to work. I think it's a great way to bring more people to Bayonne. It's created apartments that lots of people get to call home now, and I can't wait to see how they expand and create different other developments. So the food here is definitely one of my favorite parts, and I'm not just saying that because I work here and because my family owns it. You can get a guacamole if you're not feeling that hungry. You can get a pico de gallo if you're really feeling like you want to eat. You can get a mocajete if you want a quick bite. Tacos. Tacos are definitely the way to go. You can mix and match them. You can get a variety to choose from. You can get a burrito. You can get a quesadilla, um, enchiladas, mole poblano. Everything you taste here is definitely homemade and authentic. That goes without saying that uh, it's, it definitely shines through in the food and I'm very proud of um, all of our chefs and my mom for continuously putting their heart and soul into the food. Our recipes are my grandma's recipes and I think that's one of the main reasons that we named it after her because everything is my grandma's from Mexico. She lived there all her life, and then my mom came here. She continued to put that on the uh, table for us as a family, and she now puts it on the table for many other families. And uh, I think that's what makes our restaurant so special, that it's very authentic, and um, it's something that you can't get anywhere elsewhere, unless you travel to Mexico. <laughs> we are here Sunday to Thursday from 9 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., and on Fridays and Saturdays, our busiest days, we are here from 9 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. As far as catering, we do it all. Weddings, we do quinceañeras, we do it all. You name it, we do it. We have an amazing catering staff that will work one-on-one -on -one with you. As far as weekend specials, I think that's why many people love to come out on the weekends. 
Um, we have tamales, uh, very famous. 9 a.m. we open up and those are flying out the door. We have barbacoa, which is lamb. Um, we have that as a platter, we have that as a soup. Pancita, pozole, just the main dishes that you would have that gives you that homey feel. That's something that we love to have only on weekends because they're very special and they're very hard to make and they require a lot of extended time. We wake up around 5, 6 a.m. to put those tamales up on the oven and make sure they're ready to go at 9 a.m. So that's why they are weekend specials because they're our special. But we love making them and we love giving them to our community. Like I said earlier, we everything from the kitchen staff to the waiting services, uh, it's all family and we love to give that family ambiance. We're also BYOB, so if you want to bring a glass of wine, you want to bring a beer, we're more than happy to help you with the glass and we will help you open that bottle with great gratitude. So with that being said, get out and go to eat New Jersey. Okay guys, I am at Casa Lupita in Bayonne as you've been watching along on this amazing feature video. We're at 1007 Broadway. And before I continue, I have to let you know that this entire video feature is sponsored by Bay One Luxury Apartments, 957 Broadway in Bayonne, New Jersey. An amazing staff over there. It's an amazing community over here. You wanna come check it out. So thank you to Bay One, to the team, to the residents. And uh, we're gonna get into this food and get you real hungry. So first is first, we gotta talk about guacamole. I love guacamole. Who does not love guacamole? We got some house-made chips here, it looks like. Forgive my, my pronunciations on things. I'm doing my best for you. And then we have over here, we have a burrito. This is with steak, I believe. But you can get, there's various options you can get. And then we got the crisp fries. All right, this probably would be something I would get off the menu. And then right here, we have the... Molcajete. <laughs> Molcajete. I hope I'm saying that right. We got queso fresco, shrimp, seasoned pork. By the way, special seasoning. House, house secret, we cannot divulge. Then we got the grilled chicken. We have got the jalapeno, nopal, sitting under it, grilled cambrai. <laughs> Forgive my pronunciations, I really, I'm doing my best. The, the meal starts, what happens? You say, let's bring some fresh guac to the table. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'm bringing it in. Oh yeah, super fresh, house-made guac, made to order guac. You got everything you need in there. You got the cilantro, you got the tomato, you got the onion, you got the avocado, smashed to perfection. I mean, listen, you can't go wrong with that. I'm gonna go right over here to the burrito and I'm probably gonna get messy with it because that's just how we're doing things on Get Out, Go Eat. Here we go. Okay, the steak is tender. Sometimes you bite into the steak and it's gonna be tough. Not this one, it's super tender. I gotta do one more bite. Mmm, you got the lettuce and the rice in there. Lettuce gives a good little, little crunch for the texture. I know I got stuff all over me. Let me clean myself up for you, get out, go eat. All right, and then, who does not love french fries? You don't even need ketchup with these. I mean, they'll give you ketchup, but you don't even need it. Get crispy, they're hot off the press. You're gonna come in here for lunch. You can get this for dinner. You're never gonna go wrong. And there's lots of options on these, on these burritos. Don't forget, there's lots of options. Now, let's get in some of this molcajete. I don't even know where to start with this. Before I continue, I'm probably gonna have to wash some of down here with my horachata. Okay. So I know this is a rice drink, I've been told. I've never had it, but there's definitely cinnamon um, as the main flavor that I'm tasting. It's, it's a nice refreshing drink, honestly. Maybe you want to bring some rum, because it's a BYOB, and throw some rum in there. You know, I do what you want. Um, I got the queso frito here. Queso frito, it's fried cheese. Saltiness, creaminess, makes you want to dance a little. I'm not mad. Okay, we got some grilled shrimp right on the flat top. I watched them make it. I'm not even a big shrimp guy, but I tell you what, that is great flavor on that shrimp. So, I'm a little intrigued on this special house seasoned pork we got here. Ooh. Mmm. There's a little spice to it. I don't know what it is. I, it's so secret, I can't even tell you what it is. I can just tell you 
it's flavorful. There's massive amounts of flavor. Definitely some spice and some kick to it, but not overpowering by any stretch. Um, I mean, listen, this is you got you got your you got your chicken, so we'll try some chicken. Come on now. Essentially, this is like their surf and surf when you look at it, right? There's three different meats. You got your steak underneath here, which I'm about to try. You got the house seasoned pork. You got the chicken. You got the shrimp. You got the fried cheese. You got the jalapeno for a little bit of extra spice if you want it. I, I haven't gotten to that steak yet, so I'm gonna get down in there if you don't mind. Beautiful. Now, of course, you have the rice and beans and some pico de gallo over here. Now, I will say this. So many times you go to restaurants, Mexican or not, the rice and beans always seem like an afterthought to me. I always, sometimes it comes out hard and it's just like, oh, we just put, throw the rice and beans on a plate. They're worried about the other stuff. But that's not the case. Now, I'm gonna be brutally honest, and I'm gonna tell you right now. Rice and bean going in. Okay. Definitely not an afterthought. These refried beans are, are super creamy. The rice is cooked perfectly. It's soft, it's got great texture. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go try some pico de gallo by itself. It's all fresh flavor. I got a hint of lime in there. Cilantro, tomato, onion, all, all making its way. It's a flavor town, as Guy Fieri would say. Um, so listen, you, what you want to do is you want to come down to Castle Lupita, you want to try some of these dishes. They will not disappoint you. Castle Lupita Bay on New Jersey. Another special shout out to Bay One Luxury Apartments for letting us come here and sponsoring this video. The community needs it. I'm going to go and see about getting some BYOB, and me and Lisa are going to finish the rest of this. Get out, go eat New Jersey.